the splat go? Hello everyone, I am Mecca. We are in the middle of a game live stream. People are mad at the Eternals. People are mad that the critics don't like it. The critics are istrophobics. The critics just don't like it with all of the diversity. Diversity. And diversity and inclusion. They're incredibly diverse. And diversity and it's the diversityest of all the diversities. This film has such diversity, such inclusion. And that means it's the bestest movie ever, right? Because it's diverse, right? Diversity. Diversity or not, the critics are not liking it. <laughs> and thank you so much, Physicality Channel. Of the girls into the cup, then they fall out of the cup. We need to empty the cup. Oh, one of them fell in. The Eternals is incredibly diverse. Was, was rotten. Oh, it was rotten for about a minute. It was rotten for about a minute. It had a nice splat. A splatter rooney, it got a splat. It was a green bukkake of neener, neener, neener. Don't make a boring movie that's up its own butt. But no, but no, we have the splats. The splats and the squeaming squits and the splats. So we had 116 reviews. Keep in mind, these are all critics. These are all actual paid professional critics. These are people who have access to see the movie early to review it specifically to market it and promote it to disney for disney to us the viewing audience and diversity of the diversityists well we couldn't leave we couldn't leave it at 59 percent on rotten tomatoes no it's up to us they they stole the splat where did the splat go they had to splat it up or unsplat it they had to bring in two more people like i looked and it was 117 just enough to get that splat away didn't it didn't it just enough because we have no audience ratings but they couldn't let that go with the critic because see we got two more reviews so who are the new most recent i wonder will it tell us october 29th here we go abc comes along oh abc owned by disney owned by disney what buena vista abc comes along and is the one to unsplat it zao a director who's previously Three, previous three films have all centered on the everyday lives of working class rural outsiders scenes ill-suited to a movie of this skill and frankly uninterested in the fight scenes. I think we all heard this point. It takes a special kind of movie anti-magic to make an entire audience indifferent to the potential destruction of the planet and the elimination of all life on Earth. Eternals made a one out of four. Yeah, they couldn't leave that one go. So... It was at a 59%. It was a splat. It was certified rotten and a stinker. And of course, Disney had to come in and correct and chill. That's what we call a Marvel ep epic that values personal connections over spectacle. Sorry, adrenaline junkies. So this is an attack article. This is a shit. Now I got to go and write an article that defends this shit. Sorry, adrenaline junkies, but that's what Oscar-winning indie director Chloe Zhao brings to her first blockbuster. The result is uneven, but memorably inclusive and unique. So it's diverse. It's inclusive and diverse. That's not a review. That is a checkbox. Incredibly diverse diversity. And the other one that came in from the Chicago Reader top critic is the ambiguity, the attention to a person's capacity for contradiction and change that sets Zhao's MCU debut apart. What, from good? Apart from good? <laughs> You know, because sometimes people don't want to be depressed and bummed out and have this, oh, and it's epic and it's on the scale and it's global and we're going to see the world as a whole and it's a message and it's up its, it's up its own butt. Diversity. It is up its own butt. It might as well be Dune and you guys are going to be so mad at me if I take a shot at Dune, but I'm sorry. I can't help it. But hey, Dune probably got better reviews. Is Dune getting How's Dune doing? Do they like Dune better? Not D-E-D-U. D-O-O-N spells Dune, right? Timothy. Timmy. Oh, 83. They really like that one. They really like Dune. People really like Dune. Some people. I always found the series to be very, very boring and kind of up its own, you know. Sandworm. Up is on Sandworm. But hey, a lot of people really like it. So if that's your thing, it's a world build. It's a world build. I know it's a world building thing. I just don't care. 
I care about cute. Does it have a cute? Does it have a porg or a. There's a little purple slime fucking snot monster in Prodigy that looks really adorable as crap. <coughs> Does it have a cute thing? There's no cute things. The only thing in Dune is just. Sand! Sand! <laughs> the only thing in Dune is sand, and I'm not a big fan of it, but hey. <coughs> Then again, people don't like me and they're gonna cancel me because I also, I'm super uninterested in the Eternals. So we even have a whole article from Cosmic Book News. Marvel's Eternals is now rotten. The Eternals is now considered rotten on Rotten Tomatoes. And the tomometer, tomometer, tomato meter on the aggregator site where all the critics get around and shill. And then they complain and then they bought up the reviews. With 116 advanced reviews, Accounted from the early screenings for the media. This is what I said. They're all media screenings. They're all for the critics. It was at a 59. So who comes along? Who comes along? And ABC Top Critic comes along and breaks the splat. Thanks so much for breaking the splat. 59 score gives a flick of rotten, which it might deserve. That's, uh, they can't have that. They can't have a Marvel movie that's so diverse and so wokier than now do anything other than be incredibly diverse. Fresh. Oh, see, it's fresh. People liked it. It's a good movie. You just don't have taste. Or you're just a racist if you don't see it. Blow me. All right. You know what? I think Dune will just do that for us. And I'm going back to my live chat. Don't you guys go anywhere. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye! Guys, look at the moon! <laughs> Incredibly diverse! Wank.